Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. All that I know is they'll get older, older. So that us stands this side away. Danny's all stressed because she's like, well, no, where are we going? You know? She's very comfortable when we're parked and she just knows this is her home. It looks like there's a storm rolling in. So I checked my directions to see what's the best way to do it. Should I go check my mail today and then go to the RV park from there and time wise mileage wise if I go from the RV park to check my mail it's an hour and a half drive I could go to the mailbox from here and it's an hour and then go to the RV park and it's an hour I don't know I don't know what should I do I do have to go to the dentist on the 15th which means I have to go out that way anyway I think I'm going to take my chances because I'm not expecting anything in the mail oh it's I am expecting one thing you know I watch those colonial pen commercials all the time And um, uh, you know, how many times have we seen someone that we've lost, in, especially in this lifestyle as well, in the RV life, in the van life, someone we lose due to illness, cancer being the most frequent one. And, uh, Come on. And they have no life plans. I don't want to be on GoFundMe to bury me. I don't want to have, I don't ask people for help now. I'm gonna ask, not going to ask them to help me in the afterlife. I don't want to burden anybody with that expense. Well, it was a beautiful, nice, breezy day. Check out the clouds. I think a storm might be rolling in. Yep. Anyway, I think it might be gonna rain. So maybe I'll just straighten up a few things so that everything doesn't get all wet. I already took in my canopy. And I may just end up taking a ride to Walmart. We'll see. Gloomy day at my new camp. I got it. I got it. I got this. Whoops. I got the uh, thing for the spigot. Just the turn knob. That's all it needs. You know, they can't take one off of something else. And then the guy helped me. And I got this for my my rod and that I hang clothes on. I need something that gives it better support. So I look a wreck. I went grocery shopping at Walmart. Walmart didn't have those two items. But Ace is the place. Where your friendly hardware man is, I guess, that's the song. That's what I got. So I got that, and I can't believe I was in Walmart for so long. It's 6.30. I think I left there at 2.30. I couldn't have been in Walmart for four hours. Maybe I was. I don't know. But anyway, I spent $100. So now it is... I was going to get firewood, but I don't know if it's going to rain again. I just, um, I'm going to go home and I got some chicken because I need to change things up in Danny's diet. I've been, you know, she's been doing the, the rice with the pumpkin and the, um, and beef meat, you know, I need to get her some chicken. We're going to do some chicken. So I'm going to make her some chicken. Chicken! So I'm here. It's back at the camp. Yep. It's, um, 
Ooh, new ant pile over there. It's seven o'clock and guess what? Still no turn knob to turn on the water or turn the water off. Yep. And don't ant, I have no clue what that ant thing, that the fly trap thing, that's not mine. It was here when I got here. Yep, they still haven't fixed it. It's a good thing I went to Walmart myself. I actually ace hardware and got one. Yep. Day two. And they still haven't brought me a knob to fix it. Here's my camp. It did rain, so I had to keep the uh, the uh, canopy in. But I'm sure Danny has to go potty. I'm going to bring my groceries in and see if my knobs, the two knobs that I bought, which one fits. I'm sure she has to go bathroom. Oh, so it's another gloomy day. Yeah, it is. And what am I doing? I'm putting together, you know, my Lollapalooza orders for the t-shirts. And this was the last and final order that I put in for the deadline. So if you do want to still get a shirt, you'll have to go through Teespring, which is more expensive than Vistaprint bulk orders. And um, it's going to cost you a little bit more for shipping and tax, etc. Than the 20 bucks. I think it's going to be 22, 20, $22.99 or something like that plus tax and shipping. Which is going to be more for you. Because I didn't charge you tax and shipping. <laughs> and uh, fortunately, I got lucky on that one because I wasn't thinking about it, you know? And uh, I got lucky on that because they sent I, me an um, email for a, a discount. So the discount covered the tax and shipping, which worked out perfect. So I'm putting them in bags. I'm putting them in lunch bags. Yep, not white bag, just brown bag. We're brown bagging our shirts and our cups. So we have everything here. If you order one from Teespring, I'll put the link in the description or you can get it on the Lollapalooza Encore Events Facebook page. And you will you can have it delivered right to your house. And you'll probably have it before Lollapalooza. That's what I'm doing right now on this gloomy day. And I'm organizing, reorganizing, making room and getting rid of some stuff. I, you just, that's what I do like about being on downtime at the RV park. It gives me a chance to catch up on things I need to get done, you know? Like I cleaned out the upper and lower bunk. I do have clothes on, yeah. I cleaned out the upper and lower bunk and I put a new, I put a curtain rod up, uh, or hanging rod up on the lower bunk now so I can hang short items like bathing suits and shorts and skirts and some tops you know blouses that I have on hangers I could get those out of the bathroom and I've got a um, hanging across the upper bunk and and then I have the shorter items and I move down to the lower bunk yeah and um, I'm just getting organized because I have a lot you know, some extra stuff to bring with, to Lollapalooza with me. And now I have the the Bridgestone. I think that's what it's called. I have the grill. And that's an extra, you know, I think probably 40 pounds. So I had to remove some stuff from my van. I put a lot of stuff in my storage shed, shed until I leave for Lollapalooza because I'll go to Michigan and I won't be carrying all that stuff with me and then on my way back I'll pick it all up. Oh Danny got a fly. Did you get that fly Danny? Oh she didn't get it. She thought she had it but she didn't get it. Lots of flies in, around here today. I don't know what the, if they're you know I'm back in the, what they call the oasis but it happens to be near the retention pond and I think that's what brings all the flies back here but there's like a certain time in Illinois 
in the summertime that it just seems like there's flies everywhere. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. You know, it's like no matter where you go, there's flies and, the, you know, craziness. So I did get a fly trap and I'm going to probably stick that up out there um, since I'm going to be here for two weeks. So in two weeks, I've got, I got a lot of cleaning up to do, Lucy. That's what I'm doing today. I'm bagging the shirts. Have a great day and stay tuned for our next video.